Good morning, everybody. Welcome to story time. My name is Elizabeth. Um, just wanted to point out I'm wearing my AADL shirt today. Um, if you are interested in seeing all of the different events that we are sharing on AADL.tv on YouTube, um, you can actually go to AADL.org and look at the events calendar. And we've switched that over for now to reflect um, the different events that we're sharing virtually um, online. So it's kind of a nice way to see what's coming up and um, be able to uh, just get a better idea of everything that we're offering. Um, Cause I know that the AEDL TV on YouTube can sometimes be a little bit difficult to search, at least for me. Um, so if you want to check out the calendar um, on AADL.org and that does uh, show everything that we're, we're showing um, online. And um, we will get started with story time today by saying hello to everybody. If I can see your hands. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's Say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Couple more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Hello. Great job, everybody. Can I see your fingers? Open and shut them, open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creepy, creepy, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Nice job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for story time this morning. As a reminder, we have story time every weekday morning at 10 a.m. from all of the different uh, storytelling folks at AADL, so you can tune in. Um, if you happen to miss it, you can watch it later in the day or anytime you want. Um, it's been so great that we've been able to do story times and share these with you even while we're at home. Um, let's learn about the letter that is the theme of our story times today. Do I have that right? I do. The letter S. Let's think of some things that start with S. Well, first of all, something that slithers is a snake. Let's think of a food that starts with S. Hmm, how about soup or stew? Well, we have S stories today because we have stories about singing. We are going to tell stories that have songs in them. So that's our S today. And let's take our big stretch.
stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Give yourself a hug. Tap your knee. Where's your knee? Tap your nose. Find your nose. Tap your ear. Good job. Rub your elbow. One more big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Ah. All right, let's get started with our first story today. And this one features one of our favorite characters, Anansi the spider. Well, as you know, Anansi was so lazy, he didn't like to do anything, especially not anything that involved work. He had a house and a garden and a family to feed, but nothing grew in Anansi's garden, just rocks and weeds. He was too lazy to grow anything, and there was nothing to eat when his family came home from a hard day of work. Finally, his wife said, Anansi, we're hungry. Go get some food. All right, I will, said Anansi. And he went out in his garden to find something to eat. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, a rock. Oh, here's a weed. Oh, here's another rock. Oh, mm. There was nothing to eat. And then Anansi thought to himself, hey, you know what? Granny, who lives down the street, she has a wonderful garden full of delicious fruits and vegetables. Oh, I'll steal some food from her garden. She'll never know. So Anansi climbed up a tall tree that overlooked Granny's garden. There was Granny hard at work, weeding and watering and pulling weeds and watering some more. Oh, Anansi could see so many delicious things. Crunchy cucumbers, delicious plump tomatoes, crispy potatoes. Oh, everything looked so good. Said Anansi, his stomach grumbling. I can't wait, but uh, Granny spends all day working in her garden. I'll never be able to sneak in and get something. I know. The only thing Granny likes more than working in her garden is dancing. I'll sing a song and she will dance and dance right out of this garden and I can grab some vegetables to take home. So Anansi cleared his throat and sang, Dance, Granny, dance. Dance, Granny, dance. You know your feet will move if you give them a chance. So dance, Granny, dance. Shake it to the east, shake it to the west, Shake it to the one that you love best. Well, while Anansi sang, sure enough, Granny began to dance. She loved dancing. She danced and danced, and before she knew it, she danced right out of her garden and five miles down the road. Oh, well, Anansi quickly skittered down the tree and scooped up as many veggies as he could carry. And do you think he was careful in Granny's garden? No! He stomped on flowers and he trampled leaves and he made a great big mess. Then he scurried home and he and his family had a big feast. Well, when Granny got back to her garden, she looked around, she saw all of her beautiful plants had been trampled, but she was a hard worker. So she rolled up her sleeves and she got to work and she weeded and watered and cleaned up her garden until it was as good as new. Well, Anansi and his family, they'd eaten very well that night, but the next day, when Anansi's wife got home from work, there was no food again. She said, Anansi, we're hungry. Go get some food. He thought to himself, oh, my trick worked so well yesterday. I bet I could do it every day. He walked out of his house down the road and he climbed up the tree. And sure enough, there was Granny in her garden, hard at work, as, as usual. And so 
Anansi started to sing. Dance, Granny, dance. Dance, Granny, dance. You know your feet will move if you give them a chance. So dance, Granny, dance. Shake it to the east, shake it to the west. Shake it to the one that you love best. Well, sure enough, Granny started to dance. She danced and danced and she danced out of her garden and 10 miles down the road. Well, Anansi skittered down the tree. He gathered up as many vegetables and fruits as he could carry. And he stomped on flowers. He trampled plants. He made an even bigger mess than the day before. Then he scurried home. And once again, he and his family had a big feast. Well, when Granny got back to her garden, she saw again it had been destroyed. But she was a hard worker, so she rolled up her sleeves and she got back to work. She cleaned it up, she weeded, she watered, and everything was good as new. But Granny was smart. She said, you know, someone is playing a trick on me. I just know it. Someone comes into my garden while I'm out dancing and they take fruits and vegetables and they trample on my plants. And I'm going to figure out who it is. Well, the next day, when Anansi's wife said, Anansi, we're hungry. Go get some food. Anansi said, no problem. He walked out the door, down the road. He ignored his garden full of rocks and weeds. And he climbed right up into that tree that looked over Granny's garden. And there was Granny hard at work. And just like the day before, Anansi began to sing. Dance, Granny, dance. Dance, Granny, dance. You know your feet will move if you give them a chance. So dance, Granny, dance. Shake it to the east. Shake it to the west. Shake it to the one that you love best. Well, Granny started to dance again. She danced and danced, and before Anansi knew it, she had reached up and snatched him right out of the tree, and she danced with him all the way down the street. Dance, Granny, dance. Dance, Granny, dance. And you know what? If Anansi hasn't stopped singing, Anansi and Granny are still dancing to this very day. Who knows how many miles away from the garden they are. The end. Nice job, everybody. That's always one of my favorite ones. It's especially fun to tell with two people, but I'm at my house right now, so I don't have a fellow storyteller. Um, let's, let's, let's stand up if you feel like it and, and maybe do some dancing ourselves. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's do, um, let me think. How about this? Let's do the marching song. I'm gonna march, 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 march until I stop. I'm going to march, march, march. March, 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 march until I stop. I'm going to march, 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 march until I stop. I'm going to twist, 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 twist until I stop. I'm going to twist, twist, twist. Twist, 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 twist until I stop. I'm going to twist, 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 twist until I stop. I'm going to clap, 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 clap until I stop. I'm going to clap, 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 clap. clap. Clap until I stop. I'm going to clap, 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 clap until I stop. Nice job, everybody. All right, if you stood up to dance, go ahead and take a seat. We have our next story today. This is called The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit, and it's a story that I bet a lot of you know. Um, 
but it's cool. It kind of has a, a Western theme to this one. So I, this is one of my books from when I was uh, in preschool. One fine day, the desert was full of springtime magic. Seeds sprouted, eggs hatched, cactus bloomed. Ah, said Tortoise coming out of her burrow. I feel good. I feel fast. Jack Rabbit turned up one of his huge ears in her direction. Silly Tortoise, he laughed. You drag that heavy shell wherever you go. As for me, I'm free, 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 free. Zig, Jack Rabbit leaped left. Zag, Jack Rabbit sprang right. For I'm the fastest runner in the desert, he bragged. Tortoise looked patiently up at him with her old, old eyes. Let's see, she said. Now the other desert animals gathered around. I'm sure to win, said Jack Rabbit. Prove it, said Tortoise. So they agreed to race. Oh, I'll mark the course, squawked Roadrunner, and off he ran. Over the rocky hill, across the dusty flat place, under the mesquite trees, to the water hole. I'll draw the starting line, hissed Rattlesnake, and she slithered across the sand. Tortoise and Jackrabbit took their places side by side. I'll watch from above, called Buzzard high in the sky, while Eagle floated silent as a cloud. Eyeing Jackrabbit hungrily, Coyote volunteered to start the race. One, two, three, go! He called. Jackrabbit bolted away. Long, low, leap, ho, he sang. Long, low, leap, ho. And he, over the rocky hill, he soared in less than no time. Long, low, leap, ho. Tortoise moved her scaly toes up the slope. Scritch, scratch, bump, thump. She went. Scorpion peeked out from beneath a big rock. Tortoise inched past a, blo a blooming prickly pear cactus, and she trudged around the giant saguaro. High up its trunk, inside a dark hole, Elf Owl opened one sleepy eye. Tortoise rustled through desert dandelions and golden poppies, purple sand verbena, and creamy butterfly lilies. Although she loved flowers, she did not stop. Don't step on us, cried the ants, scattering. I won't, sighed Tortoise, as in her dry little voice, as she lumped and bumped along. Meanwhile, Jack Rabbit came to the dusty flat place. Long, low, leap, ho, he sang, and he skipped across. By now, he'd left Tortoise far behind. Under the mesquite trees, he saw a patch of tender, sweet, delicious grass, and he stopped to nibble it. By the time he had eaten his fill, he felt so drowsy that he lay down in the shade and fell asleep. Tortoise plodded down the hill, scritch, scratch, bump, thump. She was tired and hot, but Tarantula waved his eight furry arms to cheer her onward. At last, she too came to the dusty flat place. Help! A terrible fast monster with round black rubber feet. It tried to crush her flat. Oh! There was a roar, a smell of burning oil, and a cloud of dust. 
When the dust settled, Tortoise crept out of her shell. Phew, she said, and she continued slowly and steadily on her way. She passed Jackrabbit, still snoring under the mesquite trees. Suddenly, he woke up. He saw all the other animals gathered at the water hole. The quails had even brought their children like little brown eggs on legs. And Tortoise had almost reached the finish line. Jackrabbit flew past light-footed deer, somersaulted over a stinky skunk, left Gila Monster in the dust, and never even noticed Kangaroo Rat. He hightailed it faster than ever, past hairy pig-like Cavalina, and then whoops, he crashed right into Coyote and ski-daddled. But long, low, leap, oh no. Tortoise scritch-scratched across the finish line first. The desert animals cheered. Thank you, my friends, said Tortoise. Javelina handed the winner a beautiful spring bouquet. And slowly and happily, Tortoise ate it. The end. And I wanted to let you know this book is by Susan Lowell and it's illustrated by Jim Harris. And there's another um, very similar one called The Three Little Javelinas that is very fun to uh, read as well if you, if you like that one and like the illustrations. Um, great listening, everybody. Let's, let's stand up again and stretch our legs. Let's see. Oh, good. We have plenty of time for our last story. Let's stand up. Let's go to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Let's try it one more time. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Great job, everybody. All right, it is time for our last story today. This is a folk tale from Panama. It's called El Conejito. And for those of you who maybe don't speak Spanish, I don't really speak Spanish, um, Conejito means little bunny. So this is a story about a little bunny. Once upon a time, there was a little rabbit who lived happily with his mama. And one day his mama said, Conejito, it is spring vacation. You can go to the mountain to visit with your tia Monica. She will feed you cakes and cookies and you will get round as a butterball. Conejito was very happy. He said, ah, oh, I love to visit tia Monica. She is the very best cook and she loves to dance. Well, Conejito said goodbye to his mama. Adios, mama. And he started hopping to the mountain. And when he got there, he started to hop up the mountain. And he sang, I have a sweet old auntie, me tia Monica. And when we go out dancing, they all say, ay guapa. Well, Conejito bumped into Senor Zorro, Senor Fox. And Zorro said, oh, hello, Conejito. 
You look like my lunch, Konohito thought fast. He said, oh, no, 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 Senor Zoro. You do not want to eat me for lunch. See, I am so skinny. I am flaquito, flaquito, flaquito. Wait until I come back from my Tia Monica's house because she is the best cook. She feeds me cakes and cookies and I will get as round as a butterball and you can eat me then. Mmm, sounds delicious, said Senor Zorro. I will eat you on your way back down the mountain. So, Konohito hopped away and he sang, I have a sweet old auntie, me tia Monica, and when we go out dancing, they all say, ay guapa. And Konohito bumped right into Senor Leon, Mr. Lion. Hello, Konohito, I'm going to eat you up. Oh, oh no, 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 Senor Leon, you do not want to eat me. Look how skinny I am. I am flaquito, flaquito, flaquito. Wait until I come back from my tia Monica's house because she is a great cook. She's going to feed me cakes and cookies and I will get as round as a butterball. Yum, 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 said Senor Leon. I will wait and eat you when you come back down the mountain. So, Konohito hopped away as fast as he could, singing, I have a sweet old auntie, me tia Monica, and when we go out dancing, they all say, ay guapa. Konohito bumped into Senor Tigre, Mr. Tiger. Hello, Konohito, you look scrumptious. I will eat you right this second. Oh, no, 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 Senor Tigre, you do not want to eat me right now. Look, I am so skinny. I am flaquito, flaquito, flaquito. You just wait till I come back from visiting my Tia Monica. She is a great cook. She will feed me cakes and cookies. I will get round as a butterball and you can eat me then. Hmm, sounds pretty delicious. Yeah, I will wait until after you are round as a butterball and then I will eat you up. So, Konohito hopped up the mountain singing, I have a sweet old auntie, me tia Monica, and when we go out dancing, they all say, ay guapa! And Konohito bumped into tia Monica. <gasps> Konohito, I am so happy to see I will feed you cakes and cookies and also some fruits and vegetables and you will get round as a butterball. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And sure enough, Konihito and Tia Monica went out dancing and everyone said, ooh la la. Oh, they had a wonderful time. When it came time for Konihito to go home, he said, Tia Monica, I am afraid there is a fox and a tiger and a lion all waiting on the mountain to eat me up. What should I do? Tia Monica thought for a moment. She said, oh, we can fool them. Here's what we'll do. And she brought out a big barrel and she said, hop inside, Conejito. You can roll right down the mountain. Roll past Senor Zorro, roll past Senor Leon, roll past Senor Tigre, and if they do stop you, I'm going to build a big smoky bonfire in my backyard and you can just point up and tell them that the mountain is on fire and that'll make them run. So Konohito climbed into the barrel, his auntie put the lid on and she gave that barrel a big push. And down the mountain, Konohito rolled. Rodando, rodando, rodando. Rodando, rodando, rodando. Whoop! He bumped into Senor Tigre. Hey, Peralito, have you seen that yummy looking Konohito? From inside the barrel, Konohito said, Oh, no, but look up, Senor Tigre. The mountain's on fire, and you will be too. Run quick! Ah, ah, said Senor Tigre, and he ran as fast as he could, and down the mountain, Konohito rolled. Rodando, 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 and he bumped right into Senor Leon. Uh, Peralito, have you seen that delicious Konohito? Ah, uh, no, 
said Konehito from inside the barrel. But look up, Senor Leon. The mountain's on fire, and you will be too if you don't run. <gasps> ah! said Lion, and he ran off as fast as he could. And down the mountain, Konehito rolled. Rodando, rodando, rodando. Rodando, rodando, rodando. He ran smack into Senor Zoro. Peralito, have you seen that delicious Konehito? From inside the barrel, Konehito said, No, but look up, Senor Zoro. The mountain's on fire, and you will be too if you don't run. Ah! said Senor Zoro, and he ran as fast as he could. And down the mountain rolled Konehito. Rodando, rodando, rodando. Rodando, rodando, rodando. And whunk, he bumped right into his mama. And he popped the lid off the barrel. Oh, my sweet Konehito, said Mama. You are as round as a butterball. Did you have fun with Tia Monica? Oh, yes, Mama. We went out dancing and she fed me cakes and cookies and it was wonderful, said Konehito. And Konehito and Mama linked arms and danced toward the house singing, I have a sweet old auntie, me Tia Monica. And when we go out dancing, they all say, I guapa. The end. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for story time today. That was a fun one. Um, I look forward to the next time that I get to tell you some stories. But for now, it is time to say goodbye. Up high. To the side. To the other side. Out front, behind, good.